We begin tonight with news of another violent day in Syria. A day when Syrian troops, backed by tanks and machine guns, once again stormed into a border village to attack their own citizens. It comes just hours before Syrian President Assad is set to address the nation. Wyatt Andrews is in Turkey on the Syrian border with the latest. It's a glimpse of exactly how Bashar al-Assad imposes his special terror on the Syrian people. Army troops using tanks and a fleet of military buses rolled into the town of Badama today, making dozens of arrests and burning the homes of people thought to be disloyal. Message received. If shooting into crowds doesn't stop the protesters, perhaps the roundup of their families will. We heard this story repeatedly from Syrian refugees sheltered in camps in Turkey. In cell phone videos done for CBS News, protesters wounded during the demonstrations. This man shot in the shoulder, this man in the stomach, this man shot three times in the leg. We're all certain that if they were identified, their homes would be destroyed and their loved ones would pay the price. 34-year-old Samir, a demonstrator who was shot in the leg three weeks ago, helped CBS News take the video. They are afraid to show their faces, Samir says, because they know the Syrian government will kill their families and their children. When Samir was shot and unable to walk, he never even considered being treated at a Syrian hospital. The refugees say Syrian soldiers were waiting at the hospital to arrest the injured demonstrators and lead them away to be tortured. Samir is willing to be identified because most of his family is out of Syria. His two-week-old son was born in the refugee camp, and he is enraged at Assad personally for the pain he has inflicted on the innocent. Bashir al-Assad, he says, holding up his son, what did this boy do to you? What right do you have to take him from the home of his grandfather? And Bashar al-Assad was supposed to be the reformer, a man much different from his brutal and ruthless father. Assad will announce his future plan for Syria as early as tomorrow night, but to many Syrians, the harsh reality is he learned from his father too well. Russ? Wyatt Andrews in Turkey. Thank you.